Jack on my chair just fell off. <laughs> She's a lovely gal. Jackie Collins has written a number of best-selling books, and her newest is called Lovers and Gamblers. Would you welcome Jackie Collins? Jackie? <laughs> Lovers and gamblers. <laughs> it's a racy book, I want to tell you now. Do you think it's racy? Yeah. It's about a raunchy guy. Yes. You know, a famous guy. And I always think that writing about men like that is very interesting. Yeah. Because they have a lot of problems that ordinary guys in the street don't have. Is that true? Mm-hmm. I mean, you wouldn't know about it, Johnny. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, is this based on a real... It's based on a composite, uh, kind of a Rod Stewart or a Tom Jones, that kind of a character, mm -hmm. a rock star who's in his 30s. And right. the ultimate thrill for him is getting out and having 60,000 women scream for his body. Well, after that, when you go home to one, the thrill is gone, so they say. No, I wouldn't know about no, that. No, you I never had 60,000 <laughs> women screaming for my body. The interesting thing is, though, you know, famous men do get women throwing themselves at them all the time. But you wouldn't know about no, that. That's true. No, that's no. true. <laughs> and I think that they... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, he would over there. <laughs> Probably him. Yeah. Yes. But do, doesn't that also apply to famous women who are in the public eye? Absolutely not. I think famous really? women are treated in a different kind of a fashion. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that men are more intent of what they can get out of the women. Not sexually, oh. perhaps, but perhaps um, what can she do for them? I mean, if they're a young actor and they see right. a famous movie star, they're going to think, can I get in the next movie? Whereas a woman looks at a famous man and she thinks, uh, I wouldn't mind being Mrs... Johnny Carson, for instance, or yeah. Mrs. Ed, or, you know, Mrs. Montalban. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Ed. <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Ed is a horse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Mr. and Mrs. McMahon, but you don't say Mrs. Ed, because that's a... I was afraid that yeah, I couldn't but... pronounce his... That's all right. I was afraid that I couldn't pronounce his second name. Yeah. No, there's probably... Uh, do you think uh, men are more op opportunistic than women? Um, I think probably they are, yes. But then, you know, the people yeah. I write about, like in the book, in Lovers and Gamblers, I write about a character who has a wife. Mm. Now, a lot of famous men trade the first wife in for a better-looking model. As they get more successful, really? they want a different kind of... <laughs> A different kind of a wife, you see. They want somebody that fits the image. Well, I don't think that. No, 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 no. I don't think you I'm can not, just. You know, I'm not I know you're not being personal here, but it just happens here. to. Uh, it happens to apply to to a certain member of. Uh, oh, it does. Black Star Wars staff. Well. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't think it's the fact that success that you. I think that can happen in any marriage. I mean, I don't think that you can just lay it on show. No, no, I agree with you. If a okay, guy is an good. executive and uh, he moves up in the company, then he wants a wife to fit the image. It's very sad, really. I don't think a lot yeah. of famous people are too happy because, first right. of all, they have so many bills with the alimony, and secondly... <laughs> <laughs> why do I keep on saying this? I don't know why you keep saying that. <laughs> I'm a stranger to this country. Yes. I know nothing about your personal life. Sure is. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, yes. Yeah. Well, look, this is the first time we've really been together, right? Do you mind rephrasing that, John? I mean, what I mean is, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. No, no, the interesting thing is, when you write the kind of fiction that I write, mm -hmm. people are inclined to say, hey, isn't that so-and-so? I mean, in this book, they say, isn't that Hugh Hefner? And isn't that Barbara Walters? And isn't that Tom Jones? But the point is, it's not, because it's if you wrote project. about those people, yes. If you wrote about the actual It's person, about power, and uh, what it's power about happens, power and, and money, so and sex, and fame. It's a nice family story. Do you think that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, now... Writers have to draw on experience when you write a book. Right. And the book is really replete with um, a lot of very graphic sexual uh, uh, behavior. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Keep going. I like the way you put it. Um, I'm trying to get out of this gracefully. <laughs> But a good writer would not necessarily have to engage in that kind of uh, kinkiness. It's very... Uh, that's what they say in England, Well, it right? depends what you call kinky. But it's interesting that's all relative, that you should isn't say it? this, yes. you see, because... Bicycle chains are kinky. They are? Mm. Well, everyone to mm. his own. No. <laughs> I mean, I was just... It's interesting that you say this, because I do not write very explicit sex, but I write the kind of book... Oh, come on now. Come on now. What do you fair. mean you don't write explicit sex? You can read the first paragraph if that's what you're looking well, for. Well, no. oh, that right? <laughs> I 
actually, the first paragraph is quite interesting. It is a guy taking a shower, and he climbs out of the shower, and he looks at himself in the mirror, right. which I'm sure guys do all the time, don't they? Well, certainly. Yeah. Well, if you have a male writer, he always has a woman climbing out of the bath and studying her body in the mirror. So it's kind of a send-up in a way. Right. But so many people are shocked by this. They read this first paragraph, and they think, oh, my God, look at that word she's used. This is shocking. Right. I mean, it's just a part of a man's anatomy, just like any other part. Give or take. Well, I hope it's not like every other part. I hope it's not like every other part. And the part strange thing is that I, I'm compared. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, they do draw a comparison between you and Harold Robbins, do Absolutely. they not? Absolutely. But Harold, people say, oh, good old Harold, you know, that's a bit kinky, but we'll have a laugh at that. But because it's right. me and because I'm a woman writing that suppose, kind of book, yeah. they get a bit shocked. Well, I wasn't you know, there are bookstores that will not take the book. Are you serious? Yeah, they read the first paragraph and they say, well, we better not have this book in our store. But meanwhile, everybody else, uh, you know, the male writers can be more explicit about things and get away with it. I suppose you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting, isn't How it? How's it doing? Is it doing well? It's, it's sold a million copies since November well, that's in real, Europe. That's real good. So I guess that's not bad. I mean, yeah. I, you so know, you I like to write you have children, something. Right? Yes, I do. They don't read it. I can no, tell you I was that. Gonna, I was going to ask. <laughs> a little too little for you that. You wouldn't let them read this, would you? I would let them read it because I think they would learn a tremendous amount about life because it does say a lot about people yes. and events and relationships between men and women. It sure does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which you would be, you admit, Jackie, they would have to be a certain age really to understand. Yes, that I would kind say they would have to be over 16. I got a, a letter the other day from a boy at school, and he said he was reading it under the covers with his torch, and that the uh, wow. matron came in and snatched the book away and said, This is disgusting, you mustn't read this. And she went off, and the next day he found her reading it in the cubicle. So I guess it does appeal to different age groups. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, old... sex appeals to different age groups. Of course, the old under the cover trick for the old book. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.